Hello everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightarama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about the different timing grid options in the Lightarama sequencer. Timing grid options are located on the upper right side. This first drop-down menu will allow you to change the name of your timing grid, add a new fixed or freeform grid, duplicate to a new freeform grid, import or export all of your timings, or delete your current timing grid. The second drop-down shows you all of the different timing grids that you have in your sequence, and you can switch between them as you work. There are four different types of timing grids. The first is a fixed timing grid, where you can choose an interval of a second to create your timings. A fixed timing grid is great for non-musical animations or sequences where effects don't quite need to match the music. If you're specifically trying to match musical rhythms in a fixed timing grid, you'll spend a lot of unnecessary time trying to figure out which grid marks match the rhythms unless your song is an exact multiple of 60 beats per minute. You can find a song's BPM by searching Google for its sheet music and looking at the number just above the first measure. To use any of the native audio wizards, go to the Tools menu at the top of the screen. The first option is the Beat Wizard. The Beat Wizard detects beats per minute and beats per measure, meaning it would create timing marks for every quarter note with the default settings on the screen. One caution with the Beat Wizard is that if the song changes tempo, it might take a few beats for it to catch the change. If you use this wizard, Make sure you understand music well enough to adjust any timing marks that might be slightly off. Comparing the timing grid marks to the peaks in the waveform is a great way to check the accuracy of your timings. The next wizard is the VU wizard. The VU wizard looks for peaks in the audio, much like a VU meter. You can adjust the attack and delay options manually to change how quickly the VU wizard responds to volume, or you can use these different presets. The peak threshold slider determines when the wizard will place a timing mark. Anything above the threshold will create a mark, below will not. You can preview your timing grid by pressing start. A timing mark will be placed any time this bar turns red. Lastly is the tapper wizard. For this wizard, you'll use the click pad on the right to tap every time you want to make a timing mark. You can do this for the entire song at once, or just a selection. Here's a short example. If you don't like the timing marks that you've collected, you can click Start and it will erase your timing marks. If you like what you've created, go ahead and click Apply and Exit. If you want to adjust your timings, you'll need to click on the lock symbol in the upper right corner near the timing grid dropdowns. Once a grid is unlocked, that means you can adjust timing marks left or right. Hover over a timing mark until the arrows appear, click and hold down the left mouse button, then drag. Once you're finished, lock the grid again so you don't accidentally move timings while sequencing. You can also use the right-click menu for more timing grid commands. So for example, you can insert timings, delete your timings, resize timings, insert multiple timings, or copy an entire timing grid. For example, we wanted to insert a timing right at this mark, we'd go ahead and click this first option. Another method when sequencing is to subdivide your timings. So for example, if you have your quarter notes marked out in your beat wizard, you can select a section and subdivide them by two, and then you have your eighth notes and you're ready to go. Lastly, if you click this right-click menu when the grid is locked, you'll notice that the timing grid menu is the second to last option. If you unlock your timing grid, you right-click, and it's an automatic shortcut. And that's all for this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.